Hey yo, what's poppin? Party people, I'm that one dude, Christopher YouTube, and welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. In the previous video, I this place would make an incredible film location. In the previous video, we got through chapters two through three, and now we're on chapter four. We found out that Linda has filmed Murder Mill, one of the most popular movies in Cedar Hills. Uh, she worked with her friends Jaime and Christine, short for Christine, Chris, short for Christine. And Sam has a son. His name is. <laughs> Richard, is it R Green? I think it's uh, <clears throat> it's something start something that starts with an R. I can't remember. But they aren't supposed to be in the mill. They decided to go back to the mill because oh oh wait 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 oh that's fire that is so fire that I can actually take my mouse. That was a curious sound. I didn't even see what that unlocked. Should I? Should I go upstairs first, or should I? Uh, that felt very secretive. My question is, does that lead to secrets or progress? Because you know me and my secrets, right? You know me and my collectibles. I'm not a completionist, but I very much do like the collectibles if I can. Oh. Oh, very CIA-esque of you, Augustine Lieber. Well, hello. It's a particle I accelerator. Every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. Augustine has an interest mean? in because temporal machinery. Hopeless. Has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Wait, this feels like progress. I want to check the stairs first. Did I ever? Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floor. No! Wait, hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Your mom? After my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Her mom is Christine. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Her mom is Christine. Or was it Bonnie Rivera? Oh, oh, that would yes. make more sense. How did you know that? That would make more sense. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? I thought Christine and Jaime had ago. Maddie. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother Jaime was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I am. Um, I never met him. Did he die? I heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. What the hell happened? Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Oh, no! Very... touching. Shut the hell up, you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. What about you, Stan? No, fuck Stan. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. Maddie appreciates your comforting words. Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. Always woulda, coulda, shoulda. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our films should be? No, from? fuck you. <laughs> Piss off, Stan. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What kind of dick face? What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. What the what? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not done exploring. Get your asses back down here. I knew that was progress. I, I should have known better. I mean, genuinely, this isn't any progress either. I just wanted to check the computers before I, I left in case there was any sort of dialogue here. But I guess I guess there's nothing. No blows either. Oh, we're good. What on earth do we have here? Cool statue. Uh 
Hmm, missing a piece, though. I'm here to assume that this is another Dead by Daylight villain. Or, uh, killer. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. That, that was all we were going to say to that? <laughs> that was it? The face of evil. Sensationalist trash. Talk to Maddie. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. The true story of Frank Stone, told by the man who stopped him, Sheriff Lloyd Kusich. Kusich. Somebody's lying. The fateful night I had sent one of my deputies over to check in on things, not my first choice. The flat foot was from out of state and a little green for my liking, but all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself, and there was stone standing on the platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I only had one, only had a moment to act before all was lost. So I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn, turn the page? I'm, oh. Sure. Stone's corpse wasn't even a cold, wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubbernecks, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they'd found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had any accomplice. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So, to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough. Cedar Hills. It's a bit dramatic, but novelist. There was a there was suspicions yeah, that Frank Stone committed his past. Okay, shut up. Yeah. Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who the fuck are you talking to? Who Stan? Not in a million years. No way. Can she see dead people? Locked. Looks like it opens with a key. Needs a key. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can we go upstairs? Augustine has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. I'm not getting through that. I don't know. I mean, you could probably climb it. It looks. Yeah, you could climb that if you take your hands and place them on those bars there, and then they kind of like. Ugh, you know, use that upper body strength, lift yourself up, and then take the top the top bars, right? Put your feet, you kind of have to like scrunch your body, you know? You kind of have to like take your feet up on the, the bars that you grabbed onto in the beginning, and then you can like kind of sort of shimmy over it. Just make sure that you don't hit the spikes, because that shit's going to hurt. All right, I believe we've discovered everything that we could. All right, Maddie, what's up? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. We all could. <laughs> I was talking to my mom, to Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school when I heard she was sick, but it was my midterms and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. Loss she is was hard. a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. 
I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Flashback! Uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Don't do it by verbal explanation. Even after I got to know her. Show me a goddamn flashback. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Flashback! Uh, it's not a good idea to dwell in the past. There's something I never told anyone else. I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. Me and your mom, we had a little a thing. Time ago. Flashback? We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Back up! Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Three years ago, that night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey. Hey, guys. Maddie is grateful to hear the memory. Cool. Look. What? I don't see anything. Neither do I. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! They... Ooh, Augustine expected something like this. Uh, okay. We, we found a discovery, so we might as well make use of it. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Maddie doesn't appreciate your suspicions. Right, um, so... Do you think we should Wait, what? find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her. Wait, what? Good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Why would she not appreciate our suspicions? Okay. I didn't even really see what the other options were. Sam? 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 Sam, is that you? That was Sam. Chapter five, the Phantom of Cedar Steel. <clears throat> What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What the fuck? Why did you need an article to tell you that? <laughs> I just thought you might find that information useful. <laughs> I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh -huh. Why'd you need an article to tell you that? Right on time. You got to keep it down right on time. Hey, right on time. Time to get cooking. No need to be agitated about it. Ooh. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. They don't seem to like each other. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. 
Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. They don't seem to be now fans of an him. Official member of the team. Uh oh. Got to wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is <laughs> small. This is amazing. That looks um, too small I'm for honored. him. You want to wear the stripes? You got to earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Interesting. Your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. This is the yeah, 80s. They would never let a black man be the hero. This Let's be honest. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. <clears throat> Sounds victims were real people. Guess not. Wait, what? Sounds victims were real people. Subdued uneasy i don't even know which one i would choose i uh, i guess not there's really no point in fighting her guess not it's definitely not something you see every day that's what i'm counting on wait so shouldn't we head out yes right so slight change of plans what when Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it, especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. This is never really that serious. Like, I, I appreciate that she is, like, all about her craft. Look around the garage and talk to Linda. Okay. I appreciate that she's all about her craft or whatever but like if something feels off to everybody else but you maybe you just work as a team and be like you yeah, know what guys why don't you start with these you're right so we're looking for frank stone references we're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with frank stone the mill is a pretty huge place that's why i'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet definitely possible we'll find it Interesting. I can't believe mom's finally getting out. No more. I can't wait. Huh? Here, look at this. Finally getting out of what? Mill oh. projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. I may hospital called. Depressed. Mom will be home soon. There bond. Suicides. Hey, bond, bond. Not at the mill, but like. There is. There can you guys shut off? up? Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related. To him. Uh, to the way he was. Or, or why he did what he did. Or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. There is good light inside the film to, the, to film this shot. Will he? Won't he? Nah, he's dead big time. I pulled some of these today, too. Why do you guys keep talking? Obituaries from around the time of the murders. I may remember and your uh, lines, please. Thinking. Murder fucking mill rocks. What is that other one? <laughs> Love this. Love this something. Be loud. So my question is, do they? I feel like they would have to rewrite the whole story because the part that they were filming in the mill before Sheriff Green caught them was uh, was about aliens. They were talking about aliens come or something like that, or alien scum. I can't remember which one it is. Huh? <laughs> okay, that was a stupid joke. I'm sorry. 
But yeah, I feel like if they're going to do something about Frank Stone, they would have to rewrite the entire story. Oracle of the Omniverse Guru Connor Barnum. Do you feel trapped? Are you living your life or merely surviving it? Does this universe satisfy you or are you left seeking a deeper truth beyond this reality? By harnessing the deep knowledge within this book gleaned by Guru Barnum from his studies of those tri of those tribes closest to the alignment, you too can ass assimilate the wisdom of the ancients, design the ancient design and emerge from the cocoon of ignorance to soar on wings of cosmic bliss like a butterfly of enlightenment. Sure, I want to know about the Omniverse. It was through my own practices learnt from my journeys through the American interior that I successfully in elevated by consciousness to the point I was able to visually visualize another Cedar Hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. This little town seemed to be very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways to give one example the call call Hearn family still owned the drugstore but still but the manager behind the counter was none other than the young george the son who died so tragically some years ago here he was in healthy middle-aged a season of life in healthy middle age a season of life i knew he had never reached an omniverse her out i drew i drew two conclusions from my meditative voyage one that every journey through life offers almost incalculable variation and while we may each have our only only finite possibilities on our own journeys there may be other journeys taken by mirror versions of ourselves that visit all destinations two the different planes of reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries flowing to a single vast ocean of experiences and possibility to explore this idea further we consider some and then that's it i want to read the whole book give me the option to read the whole book a book claiming there are multiple versions of people and objects across different realities yep this is a multiverse story everybody welcome to 2024 <laughs> It was like 2023 and 2024 were the year for multiverse stories. And I mean, I guess you could say that multiverse has always been a thing that the media has been fascinated with, but it seemed like it was a lot in in this year and last year. Tom Holt interview. Tom Holt was the guy. That was the guy. He was he was the guy. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. End of an era. Cedar still so permanently closed. August 24th, 1967, the Cedar Still Mill, once the industrial heartbeat of our town, is to be permanently closed after over 40 years of almost continuous operation. Founded by Howard Kinsey Tester in 1921, the mill in its wartime heyday produced high-quality steel that was distributed across the nation. Mr. Tester's legacy was honored by his daughter Morgan in a statement given on Wednesday morning. Morgan Tester's statement suggested the family's decision to close the mill permanently had been taken out of respect for the memories of those murdered on its premises by former employee Stone. Not everyone is convinced by this justification, however. Fascinating! Secrets of Killer Stone come to light. September 16th, 1963. Ah, it's the 11th. <laughs> At Cedar Hills tries to make sense of recent events at the Cedar Still Mill, more disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandals. 36-year-old mechanist, 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 something like that, Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who our own Sheriff Kusich, Kush, Kush, I can't seem to say his name, is linking with multiple unsolved discoveries, disappearances over the last three years has been described by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Most shocking are the growing rumors that Stone was taken on by Cedar Still and its owners. The Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. Frank Stone committed several murders prior to those carried out of this. Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Why wouldn't she be? Were any of her family members killed by Frank Stone? If not, then I don't see why she would give a shit. She doesn't seem too amused at the whole situation, but like, I don't see why she would not be pleased. <laughs> what is this, Cop Dash? Ultrasonic police officers. Is that a board game? Why the fuck do you have that? 
Am I missing collectibles? I feel I like I say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Should I be worried about Robert? No, that is not your concern. Her obsession with Frank Stone should be your concern. The whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murder <clears throat> just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. No, well, you didn't. She was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. No, you cool. didn't. You didn't say shit to Chris. This furnace chamber location is perfect. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. They shouldn't have wasted all this time. Mmm. Mmm. See, because here's here's the problem, right? Firstly, I chose for him to be concerned rather than insecure because I really don't think that Jaime should be insecure about Robert. I mean, Chris is just an outgoing person. She seems like the type to make friends with everybody. And Robert just happens to be one of those people that she is friendly with. I whatever people are going to disagree with that statement, but the encouraging thing, I feel like if we're encouraging Linda's behavior and shooting the new scenes and like fueling her obsession, fueling Chris's obsession, then that only, I don't know. But if we disapprove and we see we're going to be the narc in this situation, Jaime is going to be the only one who's like, ah, guys, we shouldn't do this. But he is the voice of reason. At least he's trying to be. Fuck it, we're teenagers. We care about what everybody thinks. Let's just encourage instead of being a narc pretty rad I hope we have time to shoot it thanks me too oh yes huh what is it's a picture of Frank Stone look at the date yeah oh yeah what this is from before the murders before they realized it was Frank it's about mill operations kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits hello what is this look at the hello worker Frank Stone machine shop Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. I did film for a bit in college. We, uh, we shot a couple of short films for projects. Never once did we think it was a good idea to go to any real life yeah, locations that little ding -dongs working on? included murders or deaths. Oh. Interesting. We did shoot one about murder and death in the woods. It was a fun experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. Ooh, I heard we don't that. Have to do this. Yes, we do. Oh, this feels so dead by daylight right now. Careful. First steps to do this feels so fucking dead by daylight right now. And with the survivor's theme being played in the background, it, it's at the All right. dead. <laughs> All right. This way. It's so fire, bro. Oh god, please don't let me get anybody killed on this trail. Find the entrance to the storm drain. While also finding secrets. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Because there definitely could be some secrets in this first little starting area. Like a little trinket that I might have missed. Or one of those creepy ass dolls that 
shouldn't be in the woods, but definitely could be. And of course, I always gotta check for my blow. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Oh, Frank. Oh, okay. she wasn't done talking. Two ways into the storm drain from here. <sighs> one easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. Seems but simple it'll enough. It'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. Never mind. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from Ooh. my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. Mm. So, which way? You're going to make me fuck. OK. All right. This is a big decision here because if we climb, it's a straight shot. Super easy. But then we have to deal with possibly being seen by Sheriff Green. I understand that this way, if we cross, is going to involve a lot of skill checks and quick time events because it's a rickety bridge. But we don't have to deal with Sheriff Green. And the only thing that may happen is we might we might get separated. We might get a little wet if I fuck up. Sheriff Green is going to shut down the whole process if we get caught. So I want to go with Cross. Ah! I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So we should cross. Yeah. Is this it's space for skill checks, right? Oh, my God. OK. All right. Hey. If I didn't have to do anything, done deal. <laughs> Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. He had a cool title, though. Uh. What was the title? The man who drew blood from a stone. Damn. That is kind of fire. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. What is that? Uh, other movie? Uh. We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. What is that over there? Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. That's how people end up uh, fucking up projects is getting ideas for other movies and then like completely scrapping the other one because they think, oh, it's not interesting enough for crouch or like oh you know this one is way more interesting this one is way more important to me so i'm gonna forget about the movie that i'm almost done with okay i guess we're just dispersing now which way do i go there was a fork in the road no nope, that was progress shit Can I let me turn back. Please let me turn back. Guys, we're turning back. I made a terrible lapse in my judgment. No. No. No! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, no. This is not... This is not the way either. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Ooh. There's a blow. Where's it at? Where's it at? Whoa. 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 No. No. <laughs> I found a bug. I, I found a bug. Okay. Well. Um. This is the void. The void of Frank Stone. What the fuck do I do? Campfire. Looks old. Huh. Bonnie and her friends used to come out here and hang out. Bonnie seems too cool to have there was... friends. That's true. They were not cool enough for her. And that's why she moved to New York. Wait, really? <laughs> No. 
but she wasn't always so bonnie. But she was kind of a goody little two-shoes. Who had bonfire parties at abandoned mills? What's wrong with that? It just doesn't feel very goody little two-shoes. Well, Bonnie was the president of the Clean Up Cedar Hills High School Initiative. We'd come through here and pick up all the litter that had blown in off the road. Oh. Goody little two-shoes. Where's, Where's my blow? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Gotta love a happy ending. As I was saying before, I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. I like that. I like how they picked up the conversation that they were having before they started talking the about it. Ah, okay. It's over there. So yeah, I don't... I can't get to it right now, I don't think. But now that that area is unlocked, I should be able to find some way to get over there. It's not from here. Why are you just standing there like that? She's got nothing behind those eyes. She does not look interested whatsoever. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. Easy. Easy enough. That was simple. Okay, I got this. Bro, watch this. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. Ooh. Ooh. And gravity. Whoa. Hey! Now give me my reward for being so fucking awesome. Tattooed middle finger. She tells me I must not doubt what I dream of. <gasps> no. No! Five of twelve? You mean I missed three and four? That's actually worse than just missing the one. I missed two! Oh, I'm gonna fuck somebody up. Somebody's gonna be hearing from my non-existent lawyers. Unless the trinkets aren't linear. So, like, maybe if I go back to the present, I can find three and four. Or, like, I don't know. I just, uh... That's so frustrating. That's upsetting. Made it. There's a lot going on here, guys. This place oh. is awesome. <laughs> like, where'd you guys go? I wonder what we'll find inside. Just me and my friends going to murder mill. Where we might also get murdered. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boys. Uh, that is an unremovable action. Or an unreversible action. I think. Why do you guys just stand there? You make me uncomfortable. Do something else other than just stand around. In previous chapters, Linda... Linda would just walk past like Maddie and stuff like that while she was investigating and and now they kind of just stand around are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades I can't promise you won't but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> Flashlights, Thanks. yes. Now we can yeah. stun the enemy. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always <laughs> be prepared. I was going to say, talk about preparedness. Find a way into the mill. Have we not already done so? Is this not inside the mill? That looks like C in either two or an A. That could be an H. C H A B O? Chabo? Chobo? Hmm. 
Charo. Charo? I don't know. It's also written here, too. You've been watched. Talk about foreshadowing. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Beware. Have you ever talked to your dad about that night? Night watchman. Who are you? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time. This way, fellow traveler. When I was little, and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I what? No. Just because we walk a great distance away from each other doesn't mean we have to cut off conversation. <laughs> Come on, it's a video game. Let's not be realistic here. Yeah. Who would have left this here? The Wrath. The Wraith. The specter that stalks the fog. At least I'm keeping up with the dolls. I may not... I may have missed two trinkets, which is gonna piss me off forever, but... You know what? C'est la vie. Definitely not doing that right now. Oh. Oh. He knows the way, so I think the way that he's going is the way to progress. Because I can always climb back, right? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to go find me some relics. You guys just hang on. I'm going to go find me some... I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Huh. You're a little key. Casting shed. What did that? Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Item added. Okay. I was I was thinking about when. I get back to Robert. I was thinking about when we were in the present. Same. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk. Okay. I was thinking about in the present when uh, when Linda tried to open that cabinet. And it was locked. It needed a key. But for some reason, I thought that that was in the present. Or in the past. I think that's everything that I can get in here. What was I just... Oh, right. I got that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. Sorry, I'm gonna have to cut you off again. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad yeah still can't use it like he used to i remember that probably never will what about his hand damn i didn't know it was so intense he told me he and frank stone squared off face to face right here in the mill the furnace chamber actually oh shit we gotta shoot there what else did he tell you just that he saw things no man should ever see or know what does that mean every time i've ever brought it up gets that look in his eye come on chris don't want to see him like that back up back up hmm. go down the stairs you sound disappointed no no but i'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad me too How sweet. Damn, this place is a maze. Oh! No way. Oh, that's the hat! Is this? Wow. This is your dad's hat. I think that could actually be my dad's. You might yeah. want to take it back to him. I thought police officers had to guard those things for their lives. I'm sure he did. And again, I can see why he left it behind. And that's what led to the furnace. This area right here. It's all coming back to you. Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the direct... Well, joke's on you, I haven't. Sorry to cut you off again. <laughs> I'm looking for a secret. Okay, so I can just tell. 
The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? F to chat. You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Wait, I'm stupid. Or no, N wait, yes, I'm. So hmm. I was gonna say, no way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies, especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. <laughs> Look at this old thing. I was waiting for them to say something. <sighs> Busted. Um, what I was thinking was that the person we saw in the shadows at the mansion of the present wasn't Sam, but Robert. But because I thought that, you know, Sam might be too old. I feel like this is it. Up there. it did kind of look like an older, older, older guy. So I don't know. Could be. Could still be Sam. But it also might be Robert. It's one of the greens. Just not this one. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Ooh. Ooh, something bad's gonna happen, guys. Something bad's gonna happen. Was that a trinket? That was a trinket. That was definitely a trinket. They hit a trinket in the cutscene. that for you I think we got it you know what that means right and that's a picture wrap on murderville way to go everybody <clears throat> <laughs> poor guy we still have one more scene a little premature with the face sucking we still have one more scene uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where were you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? Interesting. I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah, that's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? Absolutely not. I say we do it. No, go. Ah, dead. <laughs> huh? Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Did you see something? No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. I gotta be Some ready for them quick time events. Okay. okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. Skill checks. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if she tags along. Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. Hey, 
Hey, Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. Yeah, we can tell. I think you mean our set. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let's take a look around. Take a look around. Take a look around. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna find my it's first. A few inches later. Told you. Told you there was something around here. Where's it at? Ooh, ooh. You thought you were slick. Oh, I have the casting shed key. Right. Stuck. Stuck? Oh, I need to find a crowbar or something. What about that casting shed key that I had? Chris, give me the key. Give me the key! Chris, give me the key, <laughs> please. One of the, that key has to be for something. I don't know what a goddamn casting shed, wait. Is there, wait, hold on. No, because it would have prompted me to use the item if any of those were usable for it. Hmm. This is quite the unfortunate scenario. Okay, there's no way. You're, you're not gonna tell me that I cannot access this door. It's right there. What the hell am I supposed to use to pry the door open with? Nothing I can do. Nothing. Oh, give me the goddamn key. I'll bonk you over the head with this flashlight. I swear to God. I swear I will. I'm crazy about my trinkets. You see the crazy in my eyes? You see the crazy in my eyes? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I was going to be pressed if I could not find the crowbar that I needed to open this door. Oh, my goodness. I was actually going to be pressed. Now, here's the hoping that this is four of five or four of something, something. Use item. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Give me that. Nope, that was six, seven. Wait, so which one is, wait, what? Finally, she has come back to me. I couldn't read that. Okay. Chris, <laughs> I found the trinket that I was looking for. Chris, don't you care? Show that you care. Be a good friend to show that you care. All right, guys, let's go. Let's, let's make some progress. That's where it happened. That's where he fucked up his shoulder. Ah! Oh! Sorry, I had to get a good stretch in. You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes... I don't know, it's different I already know that there's a trinket here but uh you know I'll, I'll humor you and use my abilities I think now it's just a matter of getting over there aha uh -huh. uh -huh -huh. can I can I not interact with it you know what silly me we might have to return power it's locked. God damn it. Why does everything have to be locked down here? What is that? That's a thing. That's a thing, and I must have it. How do I get over there? Climb. 
Climb! <laughs> Item added. Perfect, perfect. This is definitely for that, the, to pull the thing closer. Leave no stone unturned. Unless it's Frank Stone, then leave that bitch turned. It would have been nice if I could continuously, you know, crank it, but it's fine. Beggars can be choosers. Eight of twelve. Five names I've taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Yeah, I've definitely been missing some. There's no doubt about that. What the hell? Just play the damn game, Chris. Just just play the game. Just enjoy your time playing the game and stop worrying about collectibles. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. He is not holding that sound flashlight. Speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set? And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No. You don't. He looked no, at the camera. True. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I, I. Do you trust me? Yes. Then course. jump. Then you know what I have to do. That's an Aladdin reference. Totally felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. You were good. Approved. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. <laughs> Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. So... <laughs> but, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. Uh-oh. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? 
Did you want to be in the movie too? I mean, we can, I liked it better when you were gone. We can work something in. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like they are too old to be arguing like this. Casual, want to come outside, Bonnie? I'm going to go get some air. All right, let's let's go get some air, Bon Bon. Let's go hey, talk uh, together. Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's have a little girls chat. Oh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still going to have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. Ah, uh, I see what they're going to do. We place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Ah. Uh... Hey, Chris. They're going to film that spot. And then it's going to have like some sort of demonic power that's going to seep into the... No, I don't know. How about we just... We, we could talk about this. We could maybe like go, I don't know, film something else instead, guys. All right, fuck it. Holy... What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Camera needs cranking. Hold on. Do I have to do that? Hard to reload. <laughs> that did it. Fire. Okay, let me get more. Um, just to make sure that I'm aiming at the right thing. <sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. <laughs> Think that door will take us to the machine shop? You guys are playing with forces that you have no business playing with. Let's go take a look. Hmm. Yep, and now it's seeped into the camera. It's like uh tape. The game that I played, I think last year, I had finished playing last year into this year or something like that. Um, it basically rewinds time, but you can also, it also has some sort of like, it, it's got power. My dad would kill me if it. he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks Ooh. he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's more like an obsession, and it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. 
Sure. Nice. Whatever you say, man. Nice. Um, yeah, what was it? I am going to rip somebody's limbs off piece by piece if I don't find all these collectibles in this game. That was all I wanted to say. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, I see. So then what the heck? hell is this for? Hold on. I'm figuring it out. I'm gonna figure this out. Unless I'm supposed to take this out here. Now, something tells me that this isn't it either. Yeah, it won't fit. Hold on, guys! I'm trying to figure out some puzzle shit. Oh, well, that was easy. That was a lot harder in my head. What the? All right. That was so much harder in my head. I was ex I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I definitely wasn't thinking that I needed to do that. That took me so long. Whoa. 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 Ah. Chris, we're experts at this. Chris and Chris. Expert balancers. I was a trapeze artist in my past life. Um, collectible? You're not going to tell me which one it is or what it says? That's weird. But I think that that was the four, fourth one, right? Fourth or fifth one? Oh, another toy or doll or whatever you want to call it. Why is it always clown? Okay. Why is the display not showing up for what these things are anymore? Dead end. Not this way. All right, let's go. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Now I'm playing as Jaime. Come on. Playing as my boy Jaime. Hmm. Got to be a way to get up there. See the jealousy in my man's eyes. There's either jealousy or frustration, or maybe a bit of both, honestly. I can see why there'd be jealousy there. But at the same time, you got to trust your partner, you know? Locked. Gotta be another way in. Maybe there's something useful in there. A key! The 
should open the door, right? Not without power. Thus, we have to find a generator. Keep looking around. There's gotta be something here. What do you think I'm doing, Christine? What exactly do you think I'm doing here? Just twiddling my thumbs? I'm trying to see where this wire leads to. Oh. Oh! The generator that <laughs> that uh, Robert is currently working on. Yo, Robert! Robbie! Rob! Robin! Broken? Looks like, yeah. Ooh. Let me take a look. <clears throat> hey, can I ask you something there? No, you cannot have my girlfriend. Sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't... Um, wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So, I'm just in the way, Ben. You're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. I want a few minutes alone with Chris. Oh, both of these are going down the jealousy path. I want a few minutes alone with Chris. You're spending a lot of time. Let's, let's not stir the pot. That's like, that's... That's stirring it. Like, it's not even just a slow stir. That's a stir right there. I just... I just want a few minutes alone. All right, look. The truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Oh, give me a break. What's up, party people? She said my thing. <laughs> so that door over there needs power for it to open. She said my thing. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. That's actually really funny. I mean, obviously, party people is not a thing that I made up. I did not invent the term party people. But, like, that's kind of funny that Chris said party people. Anyways, um, can I not find parts to repair the generator? Excuse me? This might work with the generator. Could help with the generator. Damn, look at that. I found the parts all by myself and you guys didn't do a damn thing. Useless. You're no help to me. I could do all this by myself. As a matter of fact, I could film this whole fucking movie by myself. It'll it'll just be me. I'll be all the characters. My name will be on all the credits. You guys get nothing. Whoever fixes the most generators is the one who gets the most credit in the movie. And who might that be? That's me. While holding right left mouse button to repair the generator, skill checks will appear. Press zoom with the pointer. Hitting the solid parts adds bonus. Missing the success. Okay. All right. I played Dead by Daylight. Oh, this is so fire! I'm trying to get that great skill check. There we go. How did I succeed? Five skill. Ooh. Oh, wait. Was that five good skill checks in a row? Whoa! See, that's what's gonna fuck me up, though, is that trying to get the great skill checks. It's so close to the urge. Come on, give me one more. Nice job. 
job. Great skill check on the last one, baby. Big body. Dead by daylight veteran. Dead by daylight veteran. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Excuse me, Chris. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. You're taking a little too long. You're in my way. I'm on a mission. I got places to be, bitches see. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, come on. Just take a rock and just like, Dush! there's plenty of things in here that we could absolutely break that window with. Maybe there's another way in there. There are plenty of ways. Um, oh, duh. I mean, I guess it would make sense that we're not trying to make a mess, but like, we absolutely could just Take something, take anything heavy, and smash the window in. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Uh, don't think of it like that, man. Think of it as like secret operatives. You're the one doing all the work. Just realize that you get all the credit in this movie. <laughs> okay. What have we here? Okay. Let's check and see. Was I right? I was. So I may not have missed anything. I may be on track to find all the trinkets because this one I had found these three before I had found this one so we're chilling I think we're good well we'll run into this one eventually I'm not stressed anymore <laughs> yeah I don't think everything that you can find in this game is in order which is great that's oh, nice maybe this key will open up the box car Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F Stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Why was there any doubt about that? Oh, man. It's literally labeled F Stone. Is there anybody it's else that you know involved in this? Time. Whose name is F Stone? Just out of curiosity. Just curious about something. This is a long chapter, by the way. This is still chapter five. Make your way up to the train. Up. Still need to go up. Only up. PTSD. Hey, y'all hear that working generator? You know who fixed that? That was me. Not a single time did I fail. Not a single time did it blow up in my face. You know why? Because I'm a day by daylight veteran. Dead by Daylight. I don't even know the name of the game. I think we're good to move on. I'll go first. You sure you want to do this? I'll go first. If anything's going to happen to anybody, first. it's going to be me. Easy as one. Skill check? Two. Oh, come on. A skill check would have been great there. Oh! <laughs> not have been a pleasant way to go. Ah! I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. I kind of did almost yeah. fuck that up though. Did you see how close that was to the line? Wow. Right through the wall. It's nice that they give you the auditory cue before like seconds before the uh the skill check. Cuz in the actual Dead by Daylight game, it's like Sound oh, what the skill check. Oh shit! Damn. Is is that a? We can use this for a movie. And it's got friends.
This is insane. Oh, and we're gonna just we're just gonna take a look around. Got it. it must have come loose when the freight broke through. Got it. We're just gonna take a look around. Cause that's exactly what we need to do right now. This must be how Stone got in and out. Yep, no, we're not gonna do that. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Calhern's son and friend murdered say police. Monday, September 17th, damn, <laughs> 1962, followed several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Cushish, Cushish, Chuk fuck, last night confirmed he is treating the deaths, oh, sorry, my bad, my bad, the deaths of George Calhern and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. There's a lot of reading. George Calhern, 28, son of Cedar Hills, respected drugstore Proprietor William Calhern and his friend Joyce Barton died at their car crash died after their car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhern's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents the shocks for all of us. A shock for all of us. Coming all soon. Coming so soon. In the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay, but as in that episode when Mrs. Clay's nephew, Elvin, was caught and convicted following a rapid reinvest investigation by Sheriff Kusich, we must all- I gotta say that name slow or else I'm gonna fuck it up. Must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Interesting. Interesting. People died. Millwright's note. Cedar Steel Corporation Machine Shop and Repair, Cedar Hills, Oregon. Who are these other people? That's the symbol that we saw on the wall in the sewer. Parker D. No one want to get no want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. Kessler E. This time make it last. Better control. For the next small cuts, keep clean. Taste their fear. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut plus mix. Interesting. You guys got any thoughts on any of this? You guys want to put in some like last minute input before I make progress? Just thought I'd ask. If not, it's totally fine. Chime in whenever you want. Oh God! What is it? Oh! Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. You think she was one of her victims, huh? What makes you so sure? I don't think the police ever found this place. Not like we have evidence or anything. You know because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. Well, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. <laughs> Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. But it's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. I agree. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? Oh, we're going to stay behind? Is what you're telling me? Finish looking around and get, get out. out. I think I finished looking at everything. Yeah, I believe I finished looking at everything. We're good. Let's go. Let's let 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 let's go. We gotta go. Maybe 
Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. Oh my god. Is moving that such a good idea? You can't move that. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. You got you fingerprints on it now. One quick shot. There are your fingerprints on it now. I'm just not cool with this. Okay, noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? Of course I care how you feel. Then please just forget about getting the shot and let's go outside and wait for Robert and his dad to get back. I really don't appreciate you forcing me to choose between you and the movie. I don't enjoy asking you to make that choice. Yeah, I don't you haven't given me much of one either. Hi, mate. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then as soon as we're done, it's you and me again all the way. Appreciative, pessimistic. I'm not sure we can talk about this later. Why not? Let's just be appreciative. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Oh my god. Uh. Don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You? Hey, Christine. Huh? What? I don't know. It's the ghost of F -f 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 Frank Stone. Why are you still filming this? Get the fuck out of there. Am I forced to make a decision? Confront. Uh, confront. Confront him! Get him! Get him! I just killed Jaime. I just fucking killed Jaime. Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have fled. What, what did I think was going to happen? What did I think I was going to be able to do? What did I think I was going to do? Oh no! Anything? Oh. Nothing. Oh no! No, no, no! I'm telling you. Is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot. 
So there must be a missing piece that fits here. Please tell me he was supposed to die. Like if I had fled, he okay. would have died anyways, right? Let's say we all go hunting around this place. For That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Cylinder tumbler thing. Even if you manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? <clears throat> Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. Lucky guess. Almost like you knew. All right, that is where we're going to end it off. I'm just going to tell myself that Jaime was supposed to die. That's it was going to happen either way. I was going to flee and then the ghost is going to chase after me and then kill him. This is why like this is why Chris and Jaime didn't end up having Madison. And it was, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. The decisions have been made. Maybe after I finish the series, I'll go live and then we can like play this game together and we can make the opposite choices that i've made in this playthrough i don't know oh fuck! nobody spoil anything whether jaime was supposed to die either way or not don't say a word if you don't know great neither do i that is all the time i've got for the casting of frank stone we're gonna get back to this very soon but there are some other games that are gonna be coming out within the next couple of days that i'm actually gonna be playing before i get back to this new fears to fathom Funko Fusion, stay tuned. If you aren't subscribed yet, you already know what you gotta do. 1K before GTA 6, let's make it happen. If you wanna see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you wanna see the last video of the casting of Frank Stone, that'll also be linked somewhere around here as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Uh, I made <laughs> no.